My name is Tom Kite and I'm part of the engineering team at Audio Precision that developed the 555 hardware and the software that goes with it. Uh, I want to show you a little bit about the analog performance of this box. Um, we spent a lot of time optimizing it and making it as good as it can possibly be and uh, we'd like to frankly show it off a little bit. Uh, what I've done here is I've set up a test, uh, I've set up a, a, a situation here where uh, I've, I've got the system actually connected to itself so we're not going to use a, we're not going to be testing a real device right here, I'm just going to show you the baseline performance of the system itself. Uh, so I'm going out the analog balance and in analog balance and so I'm actually doing that with an internal loop back so we don't need any cables and um, so you can see over here we've got the I've got a sine wave at two volts and uh, so you can see it here in the time domain and here in the frequency domain and just for the moment I'm gonna I'm gonna pop pop this away so we can we can see a bit more of what I'm looking at and uh, so yeah there, as you said there you can see a sine wave being generated and it's uh, frequency domain representation. Now, as you're probably used to seeing on audio analyzers, uh, you can you can see here, here's the fundamental at a kilohertz, and here's the second, third harmonic, and several other higher order harmonics. And, you know, obviously every, every real device has some distortion, and, uh, and that's what we're seeing right here. And uh, down here uh, in, the, in the meter, you can see I'm looking at the total harmonic distortion and noise as a ratio to the fundamental. And you can see it's about 108 minus 108 dB. So uh, pretty good. OK, so, but um, at, at AP, we're always trying to do better. And um, so one of the things that this box features is uh, a generator that uses um, um, you know, resistors and capacitors, actual analog components, rather than a digital to analog converter, which is how most generation is done these days. And uh, so you can see over here, uh, I have a choice between either using the, the, uh, the DAC generator, the uh, converted sign generator, or using the actual uh, pure analog sign generator. So let's switch to the pure analog sign generator. We call it the high performance sign generator. So I'll just flick over to it there. And you can see already that the distortion components have gone down substantially. And in fact, you can also see the THD has improved to about minus 115 dB. And, uh, you know, this is, a, this is a pretty good figure, but actually uh, we're still interested in what well, could we actually do better than this? And can we reduce these comp distortion components further? And really, most of the distortion here is actually coming from the input side, the analysis side of the analyzer. It's really being generated inside the analog to digital converters that we're using uh, to digitize the analog signal. So what we have in the box is a set of very special hardware that uses analog notch filters and some extra analog to digital converters and some digital signal processing to be able to essentially remove all of that distortion or nearly all of it. So I'm going to engage it here. We call it the high performance sign analyzer. And now if we look at the FFT over here, you can see that, that, that essentially the distortion just isn't there anymore. And you can see that the total harmonic distortion and noise has gone down to better than minus 120 dB now, which is far better than any of the um, any, any of the instruments that we've ever produced and, and far better than, than anything that's in the market. Um, so let's have a closer look at this FFT here. Let me move it up a little bit. And as I said, you see pretty much a noise floor and, uh, and the fundamental and that's it. Uh, let, me, let me engage a bit of averaging so we can get a, a better look. Uh, there, I'll put 10 averages on. And now you can just see the second harmonic poking out of the noise floor. Um, but that's about it. There's a maybe, maybe you can see a hint of a third harmonic there. But that's about it. And um, so, so using this technology, we we're able to produce a, an, a, an instrument with extremely low inherent distortion. And of course, the advantage of that is that if you want to measure distortion on a real device, then you want the contribution to that distortion from the, from the analyzer itself to be as small as it can possibly be. Otherwise, you end up measuring the analyzer and not the device. Uh, and so here we have an analyzer that generates vanishingly low amounts of distortion. So you can measure all of today's very best devices uh, with this analyzer. So uh, that's a quick introduction to the high performance analog that we have in the 555. Find out more at Viacom's website.